So this is departure from Easton, Maryland, in an M600, Piper M600. Uh, latest model with the uh, auto throttle and halo emergency auto land button. Very cool. We won't be using that today, but uh, there are other videos on that Piper has if you're interested. And what I wanted to show you this morning is the setup for a routine takeoff in this beautiful G3000 equipped Piper M600. And uh, as many of you know from watching my videos, I'd like to try to use the one best way that is the least amount of fiddling and butt pushing to get the flight underway. So, of course, we're using the toga button in the takeoff mode. And that button sits on the side of the power lever here. We'll also be engaging AT, auto throttle. That disconnect button is underneath, under here. Um, but we have the toga engaged. The bars are pitched eight and a half degrees, nose up, wings level. That's what they do. We've got the flight plan in. We'll be climbing at 122 knots, which is the default VY speed for the auto throttle. And uh, we'll go up to 2000 on a heading of uh, 350 in accordance with ATC's uh, clearance. So for the takeoff, we want to display threats, threats du jour, the threats of the day. So today that might be traffic, probably birds too. So for that purpose, when we take off, we'll put the lights in the pulse mode, which uh, birds see rather quickly. But for now, threats displayed. Flaps, we're going to go with uh, takeoff flaps. So unlike prior aircraft, we have only takeoff and landing flaps, and of course, zero flaps. The trims are on the green pegs, or need to be, in order for takeoff to occur without alarms. And the pressure should be inflow in and on, in and open. ECS on normal, and the backup instruments over there alive and well. That pretty much takes care of everything below the glare shield. Once we get uh, to the threshold and get a clearance for takeoff, the pumps and the igniters will go to manual. The pitot heats will, hots will come on in accordance with uh, the SOP, which is for every takeoff every day, pitot heat and stall heat comes on in this aircraft. If we see ice, uh, or and or correction if the uh, temperature is plus 10 I heard cleared to cross I don't see anybody coming uh, we would uh, turn on the prop heat if we're in the presence of visible moisture and the temperature is between plus 10 and minus 20 now we have the temperature but we don't have the low clouds today so today we'll leave that off surface the ice if we see ice on the wings we will uh, activate the boots and then assess how the ice is coming off and make the report to ATC. Uh, defog anti-ice windshield. If there's ice on the windshield and we need to see out of the windshield, we'll turn that on probably low or high if needed. Lights for takeoff will be pulse, landing with the takeoff clearance, Nav lights at all times whenever power is applied to the bus. Strobes as needed. I, I don't find them useful much, um, but there they are if you need them. Ice light is on the left wing, so when we're flying at night, we can see ice. And that's the overhead panel. So taxi is just about complete. We may do a brief run-up, although I don't necessarily see a need to do um, a run-up every flight. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Dick Rochford, fly safely. Train off it.